What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Grab My Banner podcast. We've had a week to play Season 7. Last time we talked to you guys, it had not yet dropped. Now we've had a lot of time to digest and see what we liked about Season 7. We, we will be talking about that later. But for now, let's get into our raise question of the day. Head on down to repsports.com and use code BANNER for 15% off all Rep Sports products. Raise question of the day. You're stranded on an island with a legend forever who are you going with what kind of an island is it is it cold or is it hot is it rainy i i picture tropical because that's how i picture every island yeah i picture like a nice tropical island me too there's a beach yeah a beach it has lots to be of sand like, like, like castaway we, yeah like, sorry, castaway. like castaway picture castaway, castaway. Okay, castaway. Okay. so honestly if it's like a tropical island just gonna throw it out there not saying i want him there but gibraltar might be right at home he might be really helpful he, he might, might he might, he might really know the helpful. island Shit, yeah. he might fish for you and shit. Like, yeah. yeah, no, That's he's gonna be idea. helpful. He's he's not a bad choice, but I my number one choice, hundred percent, because I'm a person who needs human interaction. Like, I need to be able to talk to somebody. I'm less worried about like the survival aspect. I'm one hundred percent worried about being around someone I can talk to and don't get annoyed with. Hundred percent, I'm choosing Rampart. All the way. You're fucking me. No, I'm choosing what? Rampart. Dude, what? Dude, you, I, so I played you're Rampart. You're the one that said that Rampart was one of the most annoying characters in the game. Only in the game because she, her voice lines, they like popped up everywhere. And you guys can attest to this. For whatever reason, when yes. she dropped, they put yeah, she, like a gajillion voice lines out there. She had way too much airtime on she that. She talks way too much. And that's not on her. That was on the game putting her voice line in there like a million times. But like she's just a talkative person. That's why they did that. Yeah. And from the personality that I gather in all the shorts with her and Mirage and stuff, Mirage would be an example of too much for me. Rampart is like a perfect amount where I can just chill out and I feel like we could talk about stuff. I'm choosing Rampart number one. That's number one. Number one. Trash. That's a terrible pick. Who are you picking? I, dude, 100% Horizon. Why? I've always loved the translucent skin. Okay, always. She's beautiful. She's smart. I can talk to her for hours. All right? Because you have to think. Think about the person that you're staying with like a book. Okay? It's a book. It's the only book you're going to be able to read. And I feel like there's a lot of characters in Apex where they only have a few pages. In Horizon, I feel like she is a limitless novel. Who knows what she learned in space? Who knows how much she had to learn to get to space? But on top of that, if I'm going to be on an island, I'm going to populate that island, okay? And I'm not going to be able to do that with Gibraltar. That's for damn sure. (laughs) If I'm going to do it with someone, it's going to be beautiful, wonderful, translucent, intelligent Horizon. I'd get bored. <laughs> yeah, you might. I'd get bored. I'd get bored. Of I, I think stuff. Horizon's like like mom of the year. So I yeah, mean, she'd like, like try to baby you. Yeah, I I just, yeah, yeah. So I've got a couple down. As I've heard you guys talk, these ones have stood out to me. One is Mirage because he's going to bring some pork chops, and I'm going to have some fucking good food. I well, and two, he'll bring booze, which assume, is very important. Let's assume on the island there are pigs. You probably make a mean pork chop. I don't know about the booze unless you guys found a way to make your own booze because you're I'll, stranded on an listen, island. Listen, out of everyone, I would trust him or one of the multiples of himself to know how to make booze. Do you not think that he would get so annoying Dude, after if, a while? If I'm drunk, I can drown him out. In okay. in Mirage's clones, like when you when you look at the art, Mirage's clones can like do stuff. Yeah. So right, can't they? But like in the game, they can't do anything. But in if they could do things, that'd be so useful yeah, to have like like photos of them, fifteen like... of them just running around yeah, no, doing they, stuff. It's just a hologram. Well, yeah, no, it depends on which headspace you're in. In my headspace, I'm like, I just need someone to talk to. Are you thinking survival? You're you're like, I'm I'm fixed on survival. Is a booze and pork chops not survival? <laughs> I'm saying, well, there's not going to be booze on the island unless you learn how to make it. Listen, I don't know where you got booze from. I, I, I trust that <laughs> man to make some booze. Yeah. Listen, no one goes plans down, to be stranded. Mirage, you, you said he would bring booze. No one brings anything when they're stranded. Listen, he's got 15 of himself. One of them's grabbing a case of booze. But that's, yeah, that's one beer. That's not going to last. But, yeah, yeah that's say, one beer. Mirage yeah. will go so above and beyond in it because he's a party pleaser. That he wants to make everyone like him. He's going to bring a shit ton of booze. How are you guys even? I don't. How are you even considering bringing a dude? Well, if I'm going to be stuck on an island, I'm, I'm not going to be stuck said, with another dude. That's there's why I said no Rampart. way. Okay, yeah, so I can't be stuck there's with no guy. way. So, hold on. If Mirage is there, uh, the way I picture Mirage is Mirage is like Captain Jack Sparrow. You just be wasted the entire time 100%. and then just have ninety clubs. Yeah. Sea turtles, bro. 
I would honestly, the other option that I was going to say was going to be Bloodhound. 100% Very agree. much survivalist. Uh, and you know what? There's worse options. They won't talk too much. They won't get on my nerves too much. Uh, Bloodhound would be an okay option. So I'm thinking you're, 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 you're on practicality, practical which makes sense. That's a good thing to have. But you're going to be there forever. Listen, I... So if you're there forever, I mean, I feel like you got to take a chick. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather top, die. Top? I'd rather just die quickly. Okay, my top three, they're all chicks. Has uh, to be. So I got Bloodhound at number one well, because no. Bloodhound's not. Bloodhound doesn't have a. Gender. Bloodhound is a they. It's a they. Bloodhound's they don't. A they. They, don't yes. they aren't anything. Bloodhound oh, okay. is plural. <laughs> Bloodhound is supposed to be a plural. It's it's a group. It's them. It's the whole people. All right. Well, I'd take. Kyle's Bloodhound. trying to find out. Then I'd go with Lifeline because I feel like Lifeline would be a good time and just kind of chill out, you know. And then I'd go with Loba because, you know, you just chill around with the cheeks the no, whole time. No, I can't take Loba. Loba would be the worst person to go on the island with because I feel like her standards are so high that she wouldn't even look your way. She would be she would be the, the person that you go on an island with where she, she draws a line in the sand. This is your side. This is my side. You're not coming on my yeah, side. Yeah, maybe for like the first three weeks, but then she'd like slowly get rid of the line and then I'd be like, hey. You've got a dude, plan in she, your head that listen, I don't think is going to work out the way you think it is. I think it's going to Well, <laughs> hold on. We all know Loba is just going to go and steal your fucking coconuts. She's a she, thief. She probably is. Like, she probably steal all my goods. Listen, you're going to have something nice for yourself. And no, it's not for yourself. Secretly, it's just for Loba to steal it from you. And then she's going to take all that and I'll tell you where it went it just disappeared one day Loba's all Loba will always have the ulterior motive to be out for herself she will never care about you I feel like so many other people on this roster would at least like after a few weeks they'd be like oh you know I, I really care about this person like we're trying to survive together Loba doesn't give a shit Loba watched her mom get gatted in the head and then watched her dad's neck get cracked she doesn't care about you she's <laughs> she already got not. pretty nice coconuts though true so I don't know if you have to worry about the coconut. But she, she wants everything. She, she wants so everything. I'd make so her, does Kyle. Make her a nice bikini out of coconuts. Yeah. You think that this is going to happen <laughs> Wait, a certain it, way. I like Kyle, your thinking. Just, I just don't think it's going to happen that way. I want to give you an A for effort, but that would mean something's going to come of it, and it's not. <laughs> yeah, not. for sure. Number one for me, Rampart. I'd also be down with Octane. I think Octane I could actually chill with. Octane Jeez, would just dude, run around the, the island like 300 times a I'm day. I'm fine with that. That'd be fun to watch, can we, actually. Can we talk about a very underrated pick here being Pathfinder? Listen, he can do everything for you. He's never going to eat your food, never going to get tired. And oh. when he annoys the fuck out of you, you just turn him off. Yeah, he will never you eat your food. You know what? Pathfinder might be the best choice. But I guarantee you... I can short-circuit him and start a fire. Well, here's what... Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm also... It, the sand might mess with his, you know, uh, ro- uh, mechanical he gears. He played in King's yeah, Canyon. But you don't King's get, Canyon, you don't get any oh, human companionship yeah. from a robot. Yeah, you get some this homie. Is Troy, Troy, Troy. These two <laughs> clearly don't get... No, Brian doesn't care about human companionship. <laughs> Kyle compares about one very small aspect of human <laughs> companionship. Cheeks. <laughs> I care about... Cheeks. Listen, I care about Cheeks, too. But you got to have... I there's, there's a number of characters that I feel like have the whole package. I really do. I think that out of all of your picks, surprisingly, Rampart... Is the second best. Loba's cold, dude. Loba's so cold. Ice cold. Loba's so cold. Ice dude. cold. There's no companionship there, bro. I think Loba would rather die trying to escape the island by herself than ever spend time with any of us here. Submit and just like resolve herself to be happy on the island. There's no way Loba at, does that. Yeah. At least Kyle gets to see her walk away then. You hate if to I get, see if her I, go, but love to watch her leave, baby. If I get a coconut bikini out of it, then I'm good. Like if you just get a glimpse? Yeah, just small glimpse. I mean, you could try gifts, I think, because she, she likes things. Yeah, yeah. To so be like, hey, I got you. I, I shot this pig for you. I made it real nice. Here's some coconuts. This is my peace offering to you. Maybe she thinks about it. Maybe she just takes it, runs away, and tries to escape the island, and yeah. eventually drowns and dies. Yeah, so he, Kyle's gonna be way. the cat that like brings mice in to like show them <laughs> off. That's what he's gonna do. Hundred yeah, percent. That's me. Lo- Lobe is a high, like a high roller. You think giving her coconuts is gonna be okay? No, she doesn't want what people give her. She wants what she doesn't have. Uh, none of us have talked about Watson, and I think that speaks volumes uh, yeah, about how we I, all feel about Watson. Well, you know what? Well, I think Watson's a pretty good bet too, because like oh, she okay. could just shock the water and then like get a bunch of fish for you or kill you. Yeah, I mean, so, I, I'm going to say this: if anyone's going to invent a way to have a chance to get off the island, it's her. 
or Caustic, but Caustic might kill you in the process. Listen, I think Caustic is like... Or Horizon. You guys are, are downplaying how smart Horizon is. Probably, but I think 100%, I think Caustic would be one of the people that would eat you before they, like... Yeah, he, he'd be the first to become cannibal- <laughs> cannibalistic, yeah, outside of Revenant, who doesn't even need to be cannibalistic, he but he would it. do it. Caustic might he's already be cannibalistic. We don't know. Probably Octane on Detox is first to be cannibalistic. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Octane would be crazy. Uh, final pick, Troy, Horizon. 100% Horizon. Brian, you, you've named a few. I don't know which one. Honestly, dude, can I just defer any of them? Like, I'd rather just not be with any of them. None at all? Yeah, no, seriously. Jeez, Actually, that makes sense. I don't. That makes sense for Brian. You'd rather be alone? That's what you're saying. If you pick no one, that means you'd rather be alone. You'd rather be alone on the island, dude? I'd Forever? Really, listen, if I'm alone on the island, that's just going to give me motivation to continue to try to get off the island. You're not going to get off the island, Brian. That's yes, the but it gives the premise of but the it thing. Gi- but it gives me a goal and something to move towards. Otherwise, I'm just going to get content and never want to do shit. So I'm I'm rolling with Lifeline because I think that she Good just pitch. you didn't so, even bring her up. I said that they she did. was one of my three. Yeah, if yeah. I if I had to choose one, it would probably be Mirage, and that's not for necessarily Mirage. That's for what he brings to the table as far as food, and more than likely, he's going to find a way to either make booze or bring booze. Okay. I, I respect that answer and, and a lot more than your first one. It's entertainment, at the very least. He's entertaining. Yes. Entertainment that I think is... It would be like uh, cruise liner entertainment, where like the first two days, you and your family are like, yeah, this is awesome. And then really? like the next like three days, you're like, holy shit, get me off this fucking <laughs> boat. Like, <laughs> he's got a ship. Maybe we can figure out a way. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I'm locking in Rampart. I think Rampart would give me all three aspects of... Of uh, human affection that I need potentially, uh, and I'm I'm down with Rampart. All right, now we're gonna head on down to a brand new segment, the Predator Report. We're gonna bring to you top three stories of the week revolving around Apex Legends. Let's hit it with the quick Apex News Minute. Welcome to the Apex News Minute. I'm Wyatt Babb. Top story today: Respawn has reverted the Season Seven Battle Pass back to Season Six difficulty and given players ten free Battle Pass levels after fans took notice of how difficult it was to level up. The controversy was short-lived as Respawn pounced on the problem, releasing a few quick updates fixing the problem after launch. Our second story of the day: Respawn hopes to bring Apex Legends to mobile devices as early as 2021. This would put the game on just about every platform, assuming it releases on the Nintendo Switch soon. Hopefully all those players end up in my lobby. In our last story of the day, Apex Legends is expected to earn $1 billion since its launch in February of 2019. The game is up 24% from expected numbers. The people on this podcast account for at least 2% of that. That is unconfirmed reporting right there. And that was your Apex News Minute. All right, so for this week's Reddit discussion, we actually got it from Twitter. It comes from at Titanfall blog, but their name is Apex Legends News. What is the worst feeling in Apex Legends? Oh, man, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. I love this game. Let me preface this entire segment with I love this fucking game, and it's a great game. That being said, there's a lot of shit that Your top feel one is the bad. same as mine. I think it's everyone's. What is it? I can't it, read. It's teammates. Oh, teammates. It's yeah. teammates. Yep. And that's every game, though. But it's specifically, like, in a team-based game, holy shit. You teammates, have a teammates that jump off the map four times in a fucking quarter, you're pissed. Teammates in solo queue. Teammates yes. in solo yes. queue. I well, a- I mean, have you played with Kyle? Shut the He's fuck up. He's a terrible oh, yeah. But I help you it, out, it bitch. It all comes back around. Usually I play with Kyle and you together, <laughs> so me and you balance out Kyle's shitty teammate Shut- but. I get most of the kills, you bitches. Yeah, with look the least at, amount look, of damage. Look at this guy. Yeah, it just, I mean, every like, time we say he's a bad a teammate, he's like, I'm better than all of you. That's always his answer. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for any of the legends stuck Listen, on an island. Kyle with gets you, the bro. most kills. I probably get the most assists. Who's a better teammate in that sense? I'm just there. Why it's why, why she's balanced <laughs> all over there. there. Why it's everywhere. Man. Uh, I was going to say my worst feeling in Apex is actually not being able to get the bat off. So when you're like hiding behind cover and you hear those footsteps coming and you're like, dude, I can't get this bat off. And then there they are and you're dead <laughs> you're because you didn't get it off. I honestly, I think I have that on here where it says, I oh no, I, don't, I didn't write it down, but I was thinking about it. The When you're trying to get the bat off and all of a sudden you hear Bloodhound pop out, you're like, yeah, Fuck. <laughs> that's that's one of the that, worst that's feelings. Shitty. The other the other one that I highlighted was uh, so there's times where you land right and there's teams there 
and somebody next to you, say for instance, this has happened to me a gajillion times. Somebody next to you gets a gun and there's a loot crate in front of you and you have to make a decision. You either go for the loot crate or you safely get away, but you have no weapons at all. That feeling when you're like, fuck it, I'm going for the loot crate and it opens up and it's two arc stars and syringes and you're like, fuck. And then you're dead. <laughs> you, that is one of the you worst sealed feelings. Your fate. Yeah. yeah. I, the second that loot crate opens and you see it and you're like, fuck, dude. dude. I can't tell you the amount of times in this game that I've landed, got the Mozambique, and they have purple armor and a fucking energy weapon. You're just like, oh, what yeah. the fuck is this shit? No, that's a terrible feeling, that's too. That's a horror. You're like, I died. There's no way you make it out of that fight. It fresh, fresh off landing, you get your first shot off, and you see the purple, and you're like, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, dude, I have a Mozambique with four shots, no armor, and you're firing a vault at me. Yeah, that's that's a top. You're getting that's, a, that's a terrible feeling. You have any, Kyle? Mine uh, my number one is hitting for 18 with the Mastiff. Oh, my God. When you when you hit that shot, and it looks like the best shot you've ever hit in your life, and you're just totally, it's right on that dude's dome, and you're just right in center of the chest, dude, and you pull the trigger, and you hit for an 18, and you're just sitting there like, what the fuck? Yep. That is, <laughs> That's by my, far, yeah. that is one of the worst feelings. I, here's one that I think speaks to everyone, and this isn't just an Apex thing, this is a gaming thing, so I know Troy will understand this Mm -hmm. as well, and that is latency. Yeah, that's... Latency in the game. Lagging is just... Lagging is like the king of all things that are annoying in life. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not just with games. It's when you're on your phone, when you're doing anything. If it's just lagging, it's just... That's it one of the me off worst It sucks because you don't really know when it goes your way either. Yeah, you have no idea. Yeah, you just... You can't tell. So you only see when it when it bites back against you but i how can you you know i don't understand how you can complain about teammates i don't get it like do i understand that having bad teammates sucks absolutely but you got to earn good teammates if you're in freaking copper one you can't say i'm really surprised that my teammates can't pull their weight if you're in diamond three okay then you're not going to have as many bad teammates that's the point that's unfortunately not true yeah, because you have a lot of experience in Diamond 3. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I do not. But as you climb through the ranks, what I'm saying is, unfortunately, it doesn't change because the skill gap, it's the SBMM more than anything. Your teammates don't know how to play at that SBMM. And if you, obviously, if you get manhandled, you know you got manhandled, and that's just what it is. I don't know. Like, if you have a teammate and you're like, no, you don't push that, don't push that, and your teammate's going, Nah, I'm gonna like we got this. I cracked him or something. It's like, dude, it's you're still way too far. They have more than enough time. They had gold shield. Like you don't make that push. That's your teammates not knowing, and that happens all the way up to Beesman and Diamond. You know it happens in there too. Yeah, I think I think the teammates thing kind of go, comes down to everybody's on a different page, and that's why in Apex, the second you hit plat, you if you really want to grind, unless you're just cracked out of your mind, you need to have a full squad because. It's not that your teammates, once you hit platinum, are bad. It's that the other teams are more coordinated. Because a lot of times when you get to that level, you have full three Yeah, three there's team three squads. stacks. I guess yeah. teammates wouldn't be the right word to use then. Maybe it'd be uh, teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. Teamwork might be the better word. Communication to too. I mean, sometimes you can't communicate with them. And I'm not I, – I don't – typically I don't like to be in the game chat. Um, but when I am – you know, it's it's tough sometimes. You've got that dude who sounds like he's like sitting on top of a jet engine while he's playing. Then you've got the dude. It seems like his family is throwing just the, an absolute rager. You've got dogs barking, kids running around, just screaming at each other, and he's telling them to shut up. And then you're, yeah, so that's what it comes down. Your to. Your guys' experience with public like public voice chats are so much different than mine. I don't get all that. You never. Get I that. see, dude. I I can probably count on maybe. 10 times since I've started playing this game that I've had that issue. Bro, I had a five-year-old playing with his brother earlier today. (laughs) And I'm telling you, it was the worst experience I ever had, ever. My last one I'm going to say really quick is uh, getting melted in the first five seconds of a fight just feels like dog shit. Oh, dude. dude. The (laughs) amount of times that I've had that happen, like just this past week. That feeling sucks because a lot of times you have a plan on how this fight is going to go. Like you have it in your head. You're like, okay. I'm going to be able to do this, come around, go this way, and then be able to get that angle right there. I'm going to hit this guy. And you have this you have this whole thing planned out. And then in the first five seconds, you're down. The same feeling as when um, the first play of Super Bowl 48 and the football goes over Peyton Manning's head. And I was like, all right, we already lost. It's the first play of the game. 
Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Same feeling. I mean, it's the Broncos. You expect them to lose, but that's besides the point. Peyton Manning was on the Broncos? Are you I hate that you don't watch sports. <laughs> was he really? I thought he was on some other team. He was on the Colts, and then he went to the Broncos for the last like quarter of his career. That never goes well. Well, he Actually, won he won a Super Bowl. But I thought you said it went over his head. <laughs> that, he went, he to, went two. to two. He went to two. He took him to two Super Bowls in one We one. lost the first one really yeah. bad, and then we won the second Played one. Well, like Peyton, Peyton got carried to the Peyton second one. Peyton got carried to the second one because his arm was like a noodle. All right, so let's head on down to our main discussion. Uh, we'll hit a quick ad, and then we'll talk about Season 7. All right, so Season 7, it's been fun, man. I have really – I have no complaints about Season 7 so far. Everything that has come out, I've loved. I love the map. I love Horizon. Everything about Season 7 has honestly, honestly exceeded my expectations, and I'm so happy about it. I love it. I love everything about it ex- I will say one thing that was annoying, but they've gone and they fixed it, and they've they've we touched on that a little bit in the Predator report was the battle pass. We've had some complaints about that and the community and things like that, but again, respawn is replying to it, and I think they've done something as of recording this. They've uh, acted on it twice now, mm-hmm. yeah. so they are actively trying to make it better to fit. And it doesn't seem like the money grab being the fact that they are trying to adjust it. But I love it, dude. The map is beautiful and very well set up. I've seen a few complaints about it being too open, but there's I haven't had that issue. Like it I, is it is very open, but the th- so it's frustrating playing Lifeline and having this map because it is very open. But the the thing that changes it is in in seasons past when we had problems, they were problems that were like unchangeable, uncontrollable, and it was extremely frustrating. With you know this map being more wide open, it's a challenge to figure out what you have to do, which rotations you have to take, and that challenge is fun for me. So I don't really hate it that much. You know, like I've had to make character changes, and then I've also had to be like, I could still play Lifeline. I just have to rotate differently. I have to rotate at different times. So it really doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. In in seasons past, when World's Edge came out, there were so many issues that were frustrating beyond control because it wasn't something that simple where it was like you just have to play differently it was like we had sound issues glitching all this different type of stuff this map didn't really have that so there are some glitches that we'll get to but uh, not really on the you know not really glitches that every player experiences it's more people exploiting them type of glitches so other than that like it's been it's been a while since i've had to really challenge myself in apex and this i i feel this challenge and it's fun every day i want to get online and i want to figure out new ways to play new rotations to take how to better control myself in the tighter areas how to combat the third parties as much it's been fun man yeah man i mean when i first started playing um i really could only play pathfinder and octane because uh, uh, the wide open areas i felt like were just too much because if you got caught out in one of those you just didn't have any way to escape whatsoever but Learning the rotations and stuff, I got back to playing Rev. Rev, to me, is just one of the better characters in this map. Just because the third parties are so prevalent that his ult is just amazing. You get free pushes. You don't have to worry about the third parties as much. You clean up fights much faster. It's just all around so much better. I absolutely love it. I Pathfinder in this has been absolutely amazing, especially with the buff that he got. Bloodhound also like this just fits this map fits my play style very well being a longer range map and it's so enjoyable especially with Horizon mm-hmm. I love Horizon yeah and what this map does is you know snipers are uh, moving away from the map a little bit snipers have been you know in Apex snipers they're weird it's not like Warzone or something like that where you're sniping someone from you know far far distances snipers are kind of like medium range to a little bit longer range weapons but now with this map being much more wide open and spacious there's more opportunities to use snipers and there's also the same opportunity to get away from snipers using you know the trident or using like we said those rotations um i've been really happy with the gun meta too with the r99 back i haven't really had any problems with it i don't think it's overpowered at all in fact i think the vault is actually still better than the r99 so uh i'm happy with the gun meta i I like that people are using the Sentinel more. I'm happy that people are pulling out the longbow. You're seeing these these weapons get used in ranked as well. Uh, if you tune into any Apex streams, I'm all all the way around. I'm just happy with with most of season seven so far. You really think that the Volt is still better than the R99? Way better. 
every the volt dude it is dude, it's awesome not even it's not better. a chance the r99 i think still reigns king in this meta i've had a much easier time to kill using the 99 than i have with the volt the volt i have trouble one clipping somebody at a base level when the r99 i have a much easier time i don't know if that's just because i'm better controlling the recoil on it or if i'm just more familiar with the 99 but the volt i have on multiple occasions have died because i need to switch weapons or get a reload off at base level compared to the 99 where i'm able to just shred people and get a one clip knock the 99 actually at at its standard level does have a one click clip capability whereas the um the volt doesn't so you have to have at least a white mag with a volt in order to one clip somebody and the fire rate on the 99 does is higher it doesn't seem higher it is higher and i just find that a lot easier to burst somebody down with that and then even if you have to switch off of it to like one of those single fire burst guns the shotguns or those snipers or a wingman or something it seems a lot easier to put on a lot of damage faster the volt technically has a faster ttk when you have higher armor um but when when you're in the lower armor categories like whether you're in blue or white um the r99 still reigns supreme so yeah. it's kind of like the r99 is really good in the beginning because you can just shred through people and absolutely just one clip them i mean multiple times so. i i still think r99 is a clear number two what I like about the Volt is the medium range. Uh, it, it opens up a lot more range because the R99 is, I wouldn't say useless, because if you can hit your shots with an R99 at medium to far range, and I've seen people do it, then you can still be lethal. But I think the Volt gives you more of that option, um, and it makes it a little bit more accessible to shoot at medium ranges and hit your shots. Uh, it, it's just my personal preference. I appreciate the Volt a lot more than I do the R99 right now. But I've still used the 99, and I, I, I enjoy it, and I'm happy that it's back. It's definitely – it needs to be on the ground in this game. One thing I will say, I still really wish the Prowler was there. Same. If, if we had that third option, that would be so fun. Well, they tried to make – sorry, Brian. They tried to make the L-Star the third option. How did that work out? The L-Star has been decent. It's been decent. It, the muzzle flash is still high, but the L-Star can shred. L-Star definitely shreds. Just Brian, like Brian brings up, the muzzle flash is fucking horrendous. So unless you're hip firing or you have a sight on it that kind of blocks it out, it's – just absolutely terrible it's just my thing is i don't like guns that i can't pick up and immediately use Mm -hmm. and with the way the muzzle flash on that is unless i have a sight on it or i hip fire which hip fire on all lmgs got severely nerfed i don't i don't want it you know and that's i don't like guns that i have to attach things to i want a gun that i pick up and it's going to be good right from the get-go I think the L Star Two in my mind is still that gun that it was in season six, so that's why I haven't really picked it up and tried it. Like I, I forgot that it got buffed, so I haven't really actively gone out of my way to pick it up and try it out because it's just like it's such a forgettable gun. I don't know what it is about the L Star, but it's just so forgettable. Like I just, it's like the charge rifle. I don't know why, but both of them are just. I don't. I forget they're in the game until I see one. Yeah, but at the same time, for the pros especially, the the mid to long range automatic weapon seems to be dominated by the R three hundred one, and I don't see you using that at all. No, I I, I will get to that too. The R three hundred one, I have gotten a decent amount of kills and knocks with so far in season seven. I do like the R three hundred one. Actually, now that you bring that up, because I had let that one slip my mind, I might put the three hundred one above the R ninety nine as well. It's more versatile. Well, the 301, like, you can play from all ranges. That's the best part about it is it's got practically, like, no recoil, so you can just shoot people from across the map with it. And you guys know I'm a supreme hater of the R301, and I have been for a while, but yeah. this season I've actually had a decent time with the R301. 301's actually on my list of guns that I would want specifically to win a game win a well game. Let, let's go let's go through our list so well hold on let's let's talk a little bit more about the character meta because there's character changes uh that we haven't gotten to yet um some of the character changes we talked about last week i wanted to highlight because i thought the octane change was useless worthless i played a lot of octane so far it's a great great buff it's noticeable noticeable very noticeable, noticeable buff. I, I've had a lot of fun playing Octane, and I think this actually – it won't make him 
meta in uh, anything above, I would say, like platinum to maybe diamond level. But on this map, when you're playing ranked or just playing casual, he is a solid, solid pick. I think that what you just said about the map, I think, goes for a lot of the characters in this or in this game is because it's such a high mobility game. When we switched to a new map that was open space in some aspects, it buffed a lot of characters just inherently while nerfing a couple, but not too bad. The ones that it did nerf, I don't really mind them getting nerfed and i'm talking more about the the less mobile the ones who just want to set up camp in one location but this being such a massive map we're seeing a lot more of octanes and bloodhound was already relevant but bloodhounds being able to go and move and find new people and all that kind of stuff loba seen a lot of play Mm -hmm. how's that ammo being added into the black market made a big difference so it's humongous like you wouldn't think about it but like being able to grab all the ammo you need, especially when the R99 is in the pool, because when you have an R99, you need like 300 ammo at least. Right. Just light. Yeah, it rips through it. When you use the R99, <laughs> it's like when you wake up in the morning and you look at the clock and you see that it's like, you know, 8 o'clock and you're like, oh, I got some time. So then you roll back over and then you wake up again. It's like 1130, but it felt like it was the blink of an eye. When you have 300 ammo with the R99, you get into one fight. All of a sudden you look at your ammo pool and you've got like 80 bullets left. You're like, holy shit. Yeah. Just ripping yeah. through. I have nothing left. If, if you don't have, if you're running R99 with less than 200, you're running it half cop. You, when you play with the R99 and 301 as well in the Volt. 301 volt R99. If you're playing with those three guns, those are three guns you need to just let them. You're rip. playing a dangerous game if you're anything below 200 on any of those guns. Yeah. But to get back to your Loba point, yes, Loba's uh, being able to grab that ammo in just one quick swoop is so useful. And there's been so many times where you call back teammates and Loba can just drop it down. And rather than him having to go to each individual box to grab the ammo that you know the person needs grab it all from that thing and now you're gone and you're moving away especially with how third parties play out in this I'm, I'm glad that that buff was meaningful because she really needed it yeah well she just needs one small she just needs a couple small changes to her teleport and then i think she's meta 100 mm-hmm. percent. well to to continue on talking about the changes to characters have you seen any real difference with caustic losing the vision blur on his traps this is this goes into Brian's point, and I wanted to bring this up. Brian was saying earlier that the characters who didn't have any movement ability kind of lost some of their lore. I really haven't seen too many caustics. I've seen caustics, um, but they're not as relevant because the map is uh, more open at the end of the game or more exploitable, I guess you could say. I haven't seen as many caustics. Obviously, at the lower ranks, you don't really see Watson at all because she's so team-dependent. But I'm expecting that to carry up a little higher than normal. There's no Watsons. And then I guess you could say Gibraltar being the other defensive character in that sense. You do see a little bit of Gibraltar still, but he's always been the most aggressive of the three. I think you'll always see Gibraltar unless he takes some sort of massive nerf. But to to answer about uh, I mean uh, Caustic, Caustic, I've only played against one. I, no, not played against one. I had a Caustic on my team. Didn't really notice any difference, so I, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Well, how about Rampart Sheila buff, Brian? Silently, and it's not a buff, but it's a glitch. The one that we mentioned that was being exploited is people are taking the Rampart turret, the Sheila, right. and putting it on top of the Cryptodrome, mounting the Sheila, and running in somewhere EMPing and shredding everyone in sight. Yeah, that's everywhere. Mm. That's, so that's like the main thing now, and I've had like, Five of my rank games, dude. Like there was, there was one of those fucking things, and it's just, it's not like it's terribly hard to deal with because I get to shoot the crypto drone and it takes sixty damage and you're done. Or you shoot her because she doesn't have much defense. But yeah. at the same time, like that combo is as good as the pilot. Yes, and it does more DPS than typically having a crypto on your team would anyway. So you're not really losing too much. Yeah. If she goes down and dies. The Crypto Drone can pick up the banner and bring her back very easily. There's a lot of pros to it, but we've heard... I, you were telling me earlier, some people are getting banned for doing this. Yeah, so I don't think that people should be getting banned for this. I'm I, sorry. I completely agree. I don't, I don't think I don't, they should be getting banned. I don't think they should be banned, no. like it's in the They have it in the game. They need to fix the mechanic. 100%. Although... This definitely happened as a glitch from them being able to mount it onto the cars, which was never intended. But there was no guarantee that that... I understand how it could be seen as a glitch, 
at the same time, I don't think that interactions between the abilities of the independent characters should be ever considered a glitch because the interactions between the abilities is kind of the main premise of the game. And so if they don't like a certain interaction between different characters abilities, that's something that that should be fixed by the developers. And it's not something that the people playing should be punished for. And I don't know how many people have been banned. I don't know if it's been like an extensive thing. And I'm sure Respawn's thought about it. But I don't think anybody should be get, getting banned. Especially when I've seen streamers do the glitch. And and if you're not going to ban the streamers, I understand why you don't. Because they, you know, promote your product. But, you know, if you're, if you're going to ban regular people but not ban streamers, then there, there's a problem in that logic already. Yeah, absolutely. Well, That's some serious discrimination. And you had already talked about how Gibraltar could have caustic traps on his shield, and Brian was saying that's not as strong. But at the same time, it's the same thing. It's abilities interacting with each other, and if Respawn doesn't like the way they're interacting, that's on them, I think. Well, they also did eventually patch that and things like that. Now, if they did ban somebody, we also don't have the foresight or the hindsight to see where they repeat offenders yeah were they somebody right. who was known for hacking or glitching or for playing dirty throwing games whatever it was we don't know their track record and this might have just been a final straw type thing like they've had plenty of warnings and it, they might be using them as in a warning now to everyone else in the community hey we don't like this this was not intentional we just have not been able to patch it yet yeah so, I, yeah, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Like Troy said, it's just abilities interacting with each other. And honestly, it's been funny to watch. I, I, I got to be honest. Like, I haven't had a problem with it because I don't think it's that strong. I, I know you guys have had a different experience, but just shoot the drone and well, it drops. The times that I've had it used against me were as the crypto drone was a third or fourth party. Mm-hmm. In the fight. Yes. And they That's come annoying. in and drop EMP and now everyone in that fight and they rack up six to eight kills just from that because they Dude. they just hover above an open area where they emp'd and just shred everyone it's just so hilarious to just see a rampart basically just floating oh dude, yeah. <laughs> like, yes. so i honestly funny. i thought somebody was modding the first time i oh, yeah, watched 100%. i really thought somebody was modding the game i had one time i had three all in the, uh, the middle of the map and they were all just going around each other and it I was love, fun to watch i would I, honestly love to see if they they patched it out of the regular game but they made a game mode where it was just <laughs> where it was literally just teams of ramparts and cryptos like fighting each other in a death match where they were all just floating around yeah. and dueling each other it's that like a, so it's sick. like bro that's called duos it's like apex quidditch <laughs> It's like yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta catch the snitch. No, right. that's that's catch that would snitch. be funny. Um, Just put the octane in the middle. Did, did you have any have, other changes? Oh, I do. I have a lot of questions. So they remove weapons from the crafting pool, okay? And they made Evo shields harder to achieve the next level. They increased the damage threshold. I think that they were trying to push people to craft more. And they also inserted a mechanic where it takes five seconds before other people can take what you've crafted unless you pinged it, which is really cool. So they're trying to make you craft more, and I want to know if that's worked. Are you guys using the crafting materials uh, more as a necessity? Yeah. As a necessity, yes. I don't craft more. If anything, I craft a little bit less. Um, but as a necessity, when you need a shield battery, when you need a med kit, because I think those are permanent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm always getting batteries, but I've I've actually crafted considerably less because you just get batteries just from I, you know yeah. playing. I think – I'm with you. I've crafted less, but it's uh, when I have crafted, it's made a bigger impact. Yeah, and it, it's helpful. It's really helpful. So I do like the crafting. Um, and then the pinging system, like pinging it for your teammates so they can take it. That's just a smart. That's, that's smart. smart. That's yeah, more quality good. of life so, than yeah. is anything. I have a completely different experience. I craft a lot more now because I, I, you know, if you get to the end of the game, dude, and you don't have any bats, you don't have any big heals, you're fucked. Mm-hmm. I've also seen a lot of content creators and streamers, guys who are in Predator and stuff like that. It's like I, I watch a lot of streams, so you know like the flow of each game that they play. And there is now a dedicated time frame to crafting for all those pros, which That's maybe good. we should craft more. I'm glad that we're, guys I'm glad they entered that into the meta because I thought that was a cool mechanic uh, and I thought it was getting underused. Uh, but I do I have a number of questions because I thought the patch notes they changed a lot this season. So. Ring damage, uh, each level of ring damage was re- reduced. How big of an impact has that made? For me, it's been gigantic. I've used the the lesser ring damage to re-rotate around uh, certain areas of the map that I want to stay away from multiple times. Plus, with the trident, it helps out even more. 
uh, I've I've used it. I've I've seen a lot of impact from that. My thing with it is, uh, it remind repositioning through the ring. That's the biggest thing has changed. Is uh, repositioning through the ring to avoid fights or like be said avoid certain parts of the map. It reminds me back when Wraith used to be able to teleport her team through the storm. It has that sort of effect. That sort of uh, high end value. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and we did. We didn't talk about armor because you said the armor had been upgraded a lot more. Yeah, it's hard, uh, way harder to get. To way the harder to get of, red. Yeah. I I have rarely seen reds, and the reds that I've gotten myself have been like you were fighting the whole game. Like right. you never stopped fighting. Third yeah. party after third party after third party. So yeah, and I I'm fine with it. I I didn't feel any I, animosity towards that at no. all. No, I think reds where it's at. Yeah. where it should be and it's a, a good really good spot for it you only see it every now and then when you have it you have a legitimate chance for an advantage over the other team unless it's one of the last two squads because then they probably have it as well mm-hmm. um but, but can't, the, sorry brian can't ahead. they get it through crafting they can but nobody really crafts for shield it seems like everyone's crafting for bats and everyone's crafting for so i, I get that but I, I feel like that's what they were going for it doesn't seem to be going that way for crafting. Um, the biggest buff to leveling up the shields that I've seen is I will shoot the tridents. Mm, and because yeah, you hit a dispersed, so. you're not doing much damage to each person, but you're doing damage to all three of them. So I've hit a two to three shots with the triple take or with a sentinel on a trident. And now I am, you know, leveled up from white to almost a purple that's so huge i didn't even think about that um i do want to say that the biggest issue that i have with crafting and it's always been this is it tells everyone that's in your vicinity where you were at and what you were doing yeah Yeah. and it tells them what tier you were crafting as well yeah yeah but it makes sense because you can't just be getting something for free without some sort of like no i i agree but like Unless they lower the time it takes to craft, I probably won't ever craft more than what I do just because it makes you so vulnerable. And that might be because of my play style. I like playing a longer range and if people see me and they're running up on me when I'm vulnerable, my back's turned. That's a very hard fight for me to come back from if I'm not prepared. Yeah. Plus, most of the crafting stations are like outside. There's very few that are inside. And so like taking your armor off outside is just a death sentence now that the Sentinel's out there where they can one shot you in the head and stuff. So, yeah, that, you know, that really leads into my next question is now that they've moved the Sentinel to just pure damage instead of the disruptor rounds, has has that just elevated itself in the meta as the number two sniper below the Kraber? Bro, that shit is nuts. That that Sentinel, and I hate it. I still hate it. But that Sentinel is fucking nuts. It's amazing. The Sentinel is insanely good. I After playing extensively with the Sentinel and with the Triple Take, because if there's two guns that I consistently play with, it's probably those two. I don't know if it's better than Triple Take. No, yeah, Triple Take's I, fire rate and it at range with that burst or that three shot is really strong still. So if, you, I, if I had to choose, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. If I had to choose snipers, it would be Kraber... And then triple take and um, Sentinel one Sentinel A and one two uh, A and two B. Yeah, because it's much. it's that close. So yeah. nobody can notice the fact that they slowed down the uh, triple takes fire rate by a tenth of a second. No, it's, not really. I mean, you can notice it. What the difference is is pretty much one shot. Is like how quickly you can get off that la- that third so shot to knock somebody. Majorly, what it affects is when you're in close range. Yeah, yeah, that makes but, a lot of sense. All right, speed round. So I only have two more questions. So how good is the quick draw with everything said and done? Sucks. 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 Fucking trash. It's awful. Not worth it. Wow. Bring a lever action in. It might be worth it. Yeah, that's real. That's real. And then the hemlock recoil and the headshot damage nerf. How big of a deal? Not really a big deal. A lot of people still using the hemi. Still very relevant. I think that the open map helped a lot with that. Yeah, the hemlock, man, after the first burst, it's the same old hemlock. You're just ripping people to shreds. And then before we move on to gambling, I want to myth buster one more thing. The Trident, we were all so scared about how much damage you were going to take when people were shooting you in it. It is almost nothing. Like, it, it's nothing. And it, and so the tri- it makes the Trident a lot better, and I love the Trident, and I've probably whipped that thing around a gajillion times. I love Tridents. I'm Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. But I do want to touch on one last thing because we pretty much glossed over it, and it's one of the biggest things in Season 7, Horizon. Mm-hmm. We didn't talk about Horizon, really. Did we? No, like no. we we briefly oh, mentioned shit. it, but we didn't talk about it. Like, no, Horizon's dope. Horizon, Horizon's I, so dope. So here's the question. We said she's going to be meta from day one. Is she meta? 
Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I, Definitely heard, could be. Yes. I've heard her ult is surprisingly underpowered. After it is. It is. Adjusted to it's, it. You can still run out of it. That's the that's her ult. You can still run out of it, and it takes a minute for it to activate. You can launch that fucker, but it takes a second for it to activate. Yeah, yeah. dude, you can launch that thing so far. <laughs> if it was if it was instant, like as soon as it hit the ground, it just started sucking you in, and you were immediately fucked, it would be so much better. But the fact that it takes a second to kind of kick on, and that time in that time you can kind of escape from it if you have a quick character like a Pathfinder or an Octane. Oh, dude, I mean, I've had freaking lifelines run out of it before that's like they, not, they just it's not a thing they just run that's not to say it's awful though because there's no. definitely been times where i got caught in one and lost because of it because I, it does enough to where if you have a team together it will make a difference yes does it, it gra- does it draw grenades into it yeah if you throw uh, grenades it? at it if you throw grenades at it there it's hard for th- so there you can run out of it but it does take some time it's like you you you're, you're like walking out of it if yeah. you miss with the grenade, will it get sucked into the no. actually? Of the old? No, I, no, no, no. No, I don't think it'll get sucked. No. Uh, but if you get it in there, they're going to get hit with it. Nice. Somebody's going to get hit. You with can it. stick uh, the little drone that the black hole comes out of. So you can stick an arc star to it, and basically, if they're anywhere near it, they get. Like, That's pretty uh, strong. Yeah. I also saw something that I didn't know. Uh, last night I was playing. One of my teammates shot the black hole and destroyed it. Before it blew up? No, but like while it was going, he shot it. And See, it I've tried to do that. It. I just haven't. Maybe I guess you I can just unload. Can't. He no. had a ninety nine okay. though, so and it was late game, so he probably had a purple mag. But I was like, oh shit, because that it pretty much saved our life when he did that. Um, so I want to talk about our ability real fast. That thing is one of awesome. the strongest yes. abilities in this game. Awesome, and and the passive, dude. That that passive feels smooth. So sick. It's not something you notice every time, no. but it's like it's a very. It makes it feel smooth. And when you play another character, you feel a little bit clunky. Yeah, you but can tell the difference then. The the tactical you brought up so awesome. It is so awesome. It basically takes away the time you would take to climb, which and is it's huge. amazing. And it's huge, huge. Um, one of the best things that I've done with it, and I did this when I was playing with you two. Uh, I threw her tactical in front of a door when I want to say Kyle was down. You were playing Lifeline. You had to get a res off. And they were trying to push that door. I threw it in front of the door. So all they're going to do is fly up and hit the roof and not being able to enter through the door. It effectively blocks off a door and blurs the vision to where they can't shoot. Yeah. No, so, and that's the low-key best part about the tactical is the vision that it blocks because you're able to do a lot with that. I've There's been a few times where I use it just to block the vision, and I will use it to keep opponents from pushing. And I'll use – that's what I use to roll for primarily is to keep opponents from pushing at that time. It gives you a, a solid amount of time to reset because they can't push in. They take too long to get through. It doesn't matter. I've also seen a lot of Horizons stay inside of the tactical and use it as like a sniper tower. Mm-hmm. And that you can only do in some situations. But even still, like if you're in that opportunity to do that, the, it's awesome. The versatility that comes with her kit is amazing. But I will say she is not as good at low ranks as she is when you're playing with a team. And she's very team dependent character. Also, one little thing I noticed about her from like playing against so many, her running animation is possibly one of the worst, which makes her so easy to shoot. It looks like she's running in slow motion and her limbs go out. Oh, she's moonwalking. Yeah, her limbs go really far out, and she's really easy to hit when she's running. She cannot escape anything. I thought you were going to go a whole different route with that conversation. Say one of the worst things about her, one of the things I noticed was her beak. Uh, Yeah, well, I can't really say anything about beaks. (laughs) I'm part of the big beak club, but uh, I respect her big beak. Actually, I bought a skin that accentuated her big beak because I wanted her to feel appreciated. So I did that for her. So you're welcome, Horizon. Yeah, you do that, bro. Also, her music pack. Have you guys equipped no. her music yeah, pack? I it's fucking it is good. fucking awesome. It's fucking lit. You got the bagpipes in the background. And it's, dude, it is so I, dope. I didn't know those bagpipes. So I fucking love dude. when they have bagpipes with some like rock sound or something like that behind it. Dude, it's basically the apex. It's ding, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. But it's bagpipes. Let's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check that out. I think yeah. I have it. I just need to Dude, equip it. Equip I it. I just got it in the battle pass. One today. of one of the coolest mm-hmm. one of the coolest sound things. It is by far one of my favorites. Um, all right, so let's uh, hit a quick ad, and then we'll get into the gambling segment of the show. All right, gambling time, ladies and gentlemen. Week one of season three, we have our back-to-back champion here, Troy. He's won two championships. 
by a pretty large margin both times. So this season, all three of us here, we're hoping for a new lead. We got we got to turn this around. We got we got to find a way well, for one of us to win. It's embarrassing. Well, outside of this week, if you had just bet bigger on your bets, we wouldn't have this issue. No, I sucked this week. I said outside of this week. Oh, yeah, yeah. If right. you would just, you know, grow well, a pair and bet bigger on the same bets you're making, you'd be perfectly fine. I also came to the sad realization that I was calculating mine wrong because everybody else was like, hey, you calculated my shit wrong. And then I'd be like, oh, I fixed it. Never calculated mine. That is still stupid because the fact that I didn't just give it out. Basically, what you did was on the two to one payouts. I did. You didn't pay yourself yeah, two to one. I you paid yourself one to one. Basically, but you fucked yourself. I would still be drastically behind Troy. Troy has like, I calculated the totals. Troy has like 540. That maybe would have put me at like 50 more. Maybe. Honestly, that would be an entirely different story if you actually bet. <laughs> yeah, that w- that would be true. But you had some cones. Yeah, I mean, we're talking a lot about Troy here, but he's not even first this week. Yeah, well, I wasn't first last last season on the first week either. But I want to know what your excuse is for getting twenty three kills this week. Uh, bad being teammates. In silver. I oh, had yeah. four teammates, teammates jump off the map. Four. So you need teammates in silver. Yeah. Well, you're dog shit. Well, you got three silver players against one guy. All it takes. I've, I've seen you. I've seen you wipe teams before. But yeah. what with you with got that's the see. You just answered the question. No, I've doing? seen you wipe teams. <laughs> Listen, I, you guys were my teammates. Yeah, the only way I watch you wipe a team is you if guys I'm dead. Are decent teammates. If you had four people jump off the map and you were playing one on three, that means it was two games out of the sixteen you played this week that you had people jumping. So yeah. what's your damn excuse? In teammates, no, you, you still have you have more teammates. you have more it's games than that. I, I I will not. What happened? I will not let you roast. Games. I'm not letting you roast. How are you not going to let letting you roast? roast. You got not letting kills. you roast. You, this this week was one of the worst teammate weeks I've ever had in my life. And Brian I, was there. I, I, I back that honestly. <laughs> I listened to you as you were playing these games. It was, and I was dying, dude. Me and me and the guys from our uh, club were freaking dying because yeah. we were all in a party with him. He leaves this party. And goes just to cuss out the guy in the, yep. in the lobby. You became that toxic player that night. I did. And you know what? The guy, that was a game where a teammate jumped off the map. And I wasn't even yelling at the teammate who jumped off the map. I was yelling at a different teammate because I was marking this team for two minutes. I was like, bro, come on. Come on. Come on. And I wasn't in the fight yet. I was like, let's go. Let's go. And then I was like slowly inching forward. Inch forward. I was like, all right, they're right here. Inch forward. All right, they're right here. Inch forward. It was a third party. It would have been easy third party. Two teams fighting already. He wouldn't go. Then I get caught. I'm dead. Cussed out the other teammate. Actually, the dude who jumped off the map talked to me. He was like, hey, man, I'm sorry. I jumped off the map. And I was like, dude, you're fine. Okay? You're, you're fine. You apologize. That's all that matters. I'm talking to this guy. And then yeah, I, was, I said some bad Listen, things. Listen, I don't understand how both Kyle and Brian can thrive and you fail. What, what's your excuse? You can't just say teammates over and over. I, I'm I'm gonna say teammates, no. and I'm gonna feel fine. So, I feel great. So do you feel great with your losing record? And that you, did, I you didn't gain a single bone about. either through that, did you? I didn't. I didn't lose any bones, but I you just my record well, you, is not. You what actually I'd like did it to lose be. bones because everyone else went up ten free. That's true. Hundred bones your after allowance. your free ten. True, but I still have a hundred. So, but I mean bones. I've never been a big bones guy. My record bothers me. This bothers me because I haven't had a, a negative record. For you would a while. be a big bones guy if you bet more bones on the same bets you typically take outside of this week. Well, yeah, being a big bones guy means betting big bones. I just yeah. don't bet big. Bones. I mean, better it, bet big bones because otherwise saying, you don't have big yeah. bones. All, yeah, honestly, but then I don't lose big bones because this is one of the worst weeks I've had in a good, I don't know, ever. two or three episodes. But you don't win anything. Yeah, you, you don't, don't win don't on your good anything. weeks. So Brian, you're just not a gambler. That's what yeah, it but is. But you're in last place. You're just not a gambler. I'm a gambler in the sense that I'm up over the course of the show. I have great bones numbers. I just had a bad week. You're define you're last. You don't have good define great bones numbers when you barely go up each season. Brian, I have more total bones than you in the length of the show. How many bones do I have right now? You got two eighty. Two eighty. Okay, so I probably have more bones right now as of this moment than you have had at one point during the entire rest of this no because i had one i had last season i had 160 and then the thing before that i had 140 so we're like right there so you had 300 and i'm at embarrassing that's 40 and one everybody else is lower than me i'm not even 40 that's 20 
You're like 500. Kyle's barely breaking we, 200. But, but we don't go off of record whatsoever. We're Are not we, saying change your bets. We're saying no. bet the same. Just put more on them. Like I told you guys last episode, is, is this a theme? We're just going to go after my betting strategy every week because it's, it's, I feel it's like that's boring. It's, not, it's not, be- not boring. It's, it's not, not working. What do you mean what's, it's not working? What's boring is hovering between 80 and 150 it's just every se- single season. from that's mediocrity. That's boring. I, Don't okay. you want to thrive one time in your life? I have 45 bones this week out of 100 that is almost half of my total bankroll last week i had 33 that's bigger so you don't want to be a big bone just because i don't bet all of my bones on four bets doesn't mean i'm not big catch up to the leaders if you don't throw down you're betting what you're betting on that is you're going to hit more bets that obviously you're going to hit more bets than not right that's what you're saying you're going to grow a little with each of those bets why not double if you know you're going to hit the majority of those bets why not double down on those bets right. and grow at an even 90, more exponential rate? That's what we're saying. I see instead. what you guys are saying. I have no problem with what you guys are saying. I'm not going to do it, though. Why are you so afraid? What's your price? I don't have a price. He just he. That's just not how he's going to bet. He's just, just not, not how I bet. bet. No, he's just no not going to bet. Dude. All of us have different gambling styles. Uh, this is Listen, my gambling style. Why can't you just acknowledge that your style is Listen, working? if you end up in last is, place What again, do you mean it's not working? I don't understand how it's not working. The amount of bets. Because we go up. We're not going The amount of bones record. that you're putting in. Listen, Wyatt, listen. The amount of bones that you're putting in does not in any way affect your record. Does that make sense? I get that what you're how saying, but how sense? is it not working if on the entire length of the show, I am second? And yours is huge because you bet 100 every week, but like, how is it not working if over the co- entire course of the show, I have the second most this, bones this is our, and I have the best record? This is our third season, is it not? Yes. Okay, well, you, last season you were last. By f- six. Okay, you're you still last. last. Okay, you, okay. But, then I'll say I'm last, but I'm still over the course of the show. I I don't see how it's not working. What, what we're saying is you could in be doing the one, same thing and just exponentially running away with the entire thing. Not an issue. Is second you what, done is second and, what you're shooting for? That's really what you. If it's either working because second is what you're shooting for, no, or what, it's not working because first is what you're no, shooting. No, I'm waiting for because. Everybody else's record on the show is either negative or very close to it. Mine is not negative. It's very close. So what I'm waiting for is just that one bad negative week or season, and then it's changed. But he, honestly, like we can argue this all day, but I'm not going to change. I like my so five to ten. If you're so confident in your ability to place good bets, which is what record is, right? Record reflects. I understand what you're well, saying. Then, well, no, I don't. I I'm don't, not if, changing. But it. why? I don't want to. I like the way I'm doing right, this. Let him do Whatever. it. Let it's him just do one it. less person to compete with, bro. If he that's wants fine. to be last place, it's okay. I like Listen. the way I'm doing. All right, it. that's fine. All right, you can you can sit there in your mediocre bones for as long as you want, but I need you to perform so that my bets make sense. All right, last week unacceptable. Last week was tough. I'll, I'll be hand up first. First man up. That was a tough week. Tough week. I ended up uh, smashing my controller with a sledgehammer. I got so angry. He sent me a photo of that. But that wasn't when I did my games. That was before I did my games. Which controller did you <laughs> Well, it was an old controller. Oh, okay. So I, I bought it. It was one that was It like, was one. I kept hitting dead slides. I was like, you better not, hit, you better not smash that I kept scuff. hitting dead I'll slides, dude. No, it's not the scuff. I kept hitting dead slides and the stick was already out and I was fucking pissed. So I just went outside. Gave it two good wax. Felt a lot better. Got this midnight blue one from GameStop. Sexy. And I didn't even really have to pay for it because I had just returned Call of Duty twice. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Because I had it for the Xbox and the PlayStation. So I, I, I honestly thought controller. you were – I really thought you were going to say you returned the Smash controller. <laughs> oh, no. I, dude, honestly, I kind of wanted to. I, I When I was picking up all the parts, I found the like the X button. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Did just you put that somewhere. Did you keep it? No, I threw it away. Yeah, I was like, I mean, no, part of this, gonna... no part of this controller is sticking with me. Let me get uh, everybody's records and bones out. So All Brian right, is it. sitting atop the standing. He's got 280 bones. Had a great week this week, 4-1. and one. Troy at 135. He was 2-2 two and two this week. Kyle at 130. He was 3-3. Three and three. And then me at the bottom, 100, 2-3. and three. Only negative record. That bothers me. It's gonna, I can't sleep. Today. Yeah, you... It should bother you. Also, the only reason I'm two and two is because, first of all, Brian, I shouldn't say he choked on kills because I expect him to get low kills, but I expected him to get more than 23. But it's hard to say that when you're sitting across the table with me at 23. Hand up. 
<laughs> uh, disgusting. Hand up. And you also missed your average damage in fu- in fucking silver Hand in up. your fourth quarter. It's unbelievable. I just can't. My bets were solid. It was an incredible underperformance. I just don't know what to well, say. Well, the other thing you have to understand is when a new season starts, it's not like the the Preds stay in Pred. It's not like the Plats stay in Plat. They Every- ain't in silver. Yeah, no, they no. do. All the Preds go. aren't in silver. No, no but, but like all the, the Plat players the, go to silver. The Plat players he was playing with dropped down to silver with them. And I, I, I'm not an excuse guy, but if I was going to make an excuse, I would, yeah, I mean. Playing with platinum. I mean, you also played your games very late in the week after they yeah, had a chance to. Yeah. Even in platinum, me and Brian, you were in platinum, dude. Twenty three kills. That's well, not you. I, no, because no, our, my lines in platinum last season were pretty shitty. Low. Yeah, I think twenty three was the last two weeks. Most of the season were bad kills point. I ever had. Um, but yeah, hand up, bad week. I won't let you down this week. Don't let. Me I'm down. feeling better, better because let don't down let me down. I got this week. midnight blue. Okay. I'm feeling better with Midnight Blue. Okay, good. I got some ballsy bets on you this week. Oh, all right, you got to oh, pull yourself fuck. together. All right, here we go. Uh, let's also get to the lines real quick before we get into the segment. Okay, so Brian's total kills is at 23 with halves at 11.5, quarters at 5.5. Average damage is at 600, and his max is at 1,900. Brian hit his max twice last week. That was huge. Kyle, kill line, 30, with halves at 15 and quarters at 7.5, with a max of 1950, an um, average damage of 600, and a max damage of 1950. Kyle, I believe you also hit your max, did you not? Yes, I did. Yes, he did. And then me sitting at kills with total kills at 25, halves at 12.5, and quarters at 6, average damage 600, max 750. I typically don't hit my max damage. All of us, average damage at 600. I think that's an interesting uh, uh, way to set the lines this week. It'll be fun to see what happens with that. I really like that. So uh, who wants to read their card first? Um, we can go into the cards, not an issue. Uh, I do want to go through and explain the gambling first, though. Okay, go ahead. We play 16 games. Those break down into eight-game halves, four-game quarters. Betting on a quarter for average damage pays out a two-to-one. Betting on a half for max damage pays out a two-to-one. And betting on a quarter for max damage pays out three to one very hard to hit that quarter for max but it pays out very hefty if you do everything else pays out a simple one to one ratio all right so i'll actually go first here uh i got six bets two on every player myself brian and kyle Uh, i got 45 bones out there that's almost half so that's big third quarter kills over on myself at six um i've had troubles with the third quarter recently uh, usually the second half all the way through was my half, uh, but I've had a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to see how this one plays out. Uh, new map, lots of things are changing. I think my my strategy is going to be a little different going into the rest of Olympus, but we'll see how it goes. I also have third quarter average damage over at 600. Ten bones on that one, five bones on the first one. Uh, going over to Brian. Uh, Brian first quarter kills under. Brian just typically doesn't do well on the first quarter. That's sitting at 5.5. I'm going to put five bones on that. But his third quarter is a lot different story. Third quarter average damage over 10 bones on Brian. That's the first over I've placed on Brian in the last like, three episodes. Is it three episodes? I thought it was like fucking It's been a long time. But Brian, Brian proved a lot to me this week. Brian po- proved a lot to me this week. Moving on to Kyle. Third quarter average damage over at 600 for 10 bones. Uh, I trust Kyle in the uh, second half. I bet on him this week. That was one of the only bets I won was his third quarter average damage. So I'm going to go with that again. Uh, And then the third quarter kills over at 7.5 for five bones. I think if he's going to hit his average damage, he should hit his kills. Kyle gets a lot of kills and damage. So I'm expecting that one to go over. And that rounds it out. Six bets, 45 bones. Okay. I think you need to be betting a little bit more on uh, kind of your third. That being said, I'm actually going to follow up that with a bet to back it, and I'm saying 40 bones over on your third quarter kills. Damn. Oh, what is that? God, Seven? Dude. What is it? Uh, 7. Your, that is a so six. Eight. No, you, your uh, kills oh, minus my six. Kills. Yeah, yeah. Your kills. Oh, six. So that's six in the third quarter. I think that that's an easy thing for you to hit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that this is definitely an overs week for you. So we're running with that. I've got 30 bones over on my third quarter average damage. I feel like that's been a very safe bet the past few weeks with me is third quarter average damage. 
So I'm putting 30 on it, make it easy, just easy 30 bones or 60 because it pays out a two to one. And then Kyle, I've got 50 over on your third quarter average. So I'm just putting out a measly, what is that? What is that? Uh, 70 and another 50, that's 120 bones. Troy, you want to go or you want me to go? Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I, <laughs> I'm changing my bet at the last minute. I'm changing my bet at the last minute because I'm the two-time champ. I'm the fucking two-time in this place. And you know what? If I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down swinging, okay? Why? You really let me down. You really let me Hand down. Up. You put me behind. Hand in up. In a big way. You put me behind. I made a mistake of thinking that Brian would ever thrive on kills regardless of what level he was at. That was on me. But you, you fucked me. So, I originally had Kyle, a third quarter average damage of 50 bones over, which is the identical bet that Brian placed. But I'm changing that. I'm, I am deleting... I'm deleting Wyatt's. I had a, a bet on you mm. that you were going to miss your max for 30 bones. Okay. Okay? I'm deleting bet. that. And I'm going to put that into this bet. So that's going to be an 80-bone bet on Kyle to hit his third quarter max. What? Kyle's yeah. eyes just got big, and yeah. you just made him nervous as fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't care. Listen, I believe in you. It's going to be a wild week. I don't care. I believe in you. My other, you have to place a minimum of three bets. My other two bets are sadly on Brian, but Brian's in silver and that's where he belongs. So Brian's third quarter (laughs) average damage is an over for 35 and Brian's overall average is an over for 20. So that's three bets. I have all 135 on the table. And if Kyle pulls through for me, it's going to be a very, very bright week, too. If if Kyle pulls through, then there's literally – you guys would have to bet all of your bones every single week if he hits that bet. What, is, what was that, 80? Yeah. So you put that would be – Well, I put 50 on it. Three times it. Three, so three – no, it's two times. It's average. No, he's, no it's he's, max. He bet max. Oh, he bet max. Yeah, so, so he'd get 240. 240 plus the 80. So that would be 320 just from that bet. Well, no, because you don't get the 80 that you put in. Well, you it. technically don't lose it. No, I'm it. saying I don't lose it. So yeah, that would be 320. You just gained 240. If I just hit that and I lost everything else, I'd be at 330 next week. That's the point. If I, if I, lost, mm, every, if I lost my other two bets. Does anybody else have a bet on a max? I don't have a bet on a max. No. Uh I was debating on putting a bet on a max on Kyle like I did last week. So that's paid off for me two weeks in a row. But I don't know if Kyle's going to want all that pressure in the third quarter. Dude, I already got a ton of pressure in the third quarter because I got pressure on myself too because I made fat bets on Okay, that changes me, shit for see, me. And that's, <laughs> that changes I, shit for I me. I think that You guys right can't there, back out of your bets now. I'm not, I'm not backing, backing out of them. I was debating out. on putting a new one down. But I was... I, Mm, yeah, I, you can't add bets after you read your card. We're, we can't. There's no way. Why not? We used to be able to do it. Yeah, I, we did it before. Not so, since Brian. So I don't think my you card can. In the first week of last season, so we should I, be able I never to copied do that. Yeah, I was going to copy put, my card. What if card gate? No, I had, I literally had it written down before you. <laughs> what if? <laughs> what if we can add to our card if I give in to your guys's plan? And I do the exact same bet Troy just did. Okay, hold on, hold on. What? So, will you let me add to my time card? Time out, time out. How about I don't have 80? Did? If I delete some of these, I can put 80. No, no, no. no. How about you cannot take away from your card, but, but you, you can, can add. add. To it. What if he's willing to? If Wyatt's willing to to put all in on that bet, will you let him do it? I'll go all in. Oh, here, here's my rules. Here's my rules. Here, Are you I never. Serious? I'll go all in. I never want to hear you guys talk about my betting stance. This is the way I like to bet. I'm doing it one time. <laughs> One time only. All right. I'm doing it one time. So for the rest of the show, until we're dead, I never want to hear shit about my small betting ever. And then after that, we can add to our cards. Those are the only two stipulations. We right. can't take away, but we can add. I'll still find a way to place three bets. I'll put smaller numbers on the other ones. Okay. He, he's going to make it so he still has three bets, but he has all of his you bones in play. So you can't take, take away from your card, and but you deal, can add If he puts it. this down, we can't give him shit all right. about it. Yeah. For, okay, I'll put I'm it down. It. All right, so I will go. Oh, no pressure. I will go Jesus. third quarter. It was the third quarter that's max? Yeah, yeah, third quarter max. That, that's a ballsy play. It, it's In my mind, it's worth it because I have a gambling style, and it bothers me that you guys don't like it, but I will give in to it. Why would it bother you? It just bothers me. See, I, 
Yeah. I'm I mean, a, I'm I, I would have just said you should have put it down on one of the ones you already had. I'm a big picture guy. Listen, I like the big picture. You love hockey, all right? Yeah. You hate. You, I know that you hate as much as I do when a team is up in the th- in the third period and they're playing keep away because they have a one point lead. That's yeah. what you do but, all the time. You but, play keep. That's literally but I never you're had playing a lead, it safe all the time, though. But in your mind, having a positive record is a lead for you. That's it's the a problem. lead in my own mind. I know yeah. I'm not winning anything, but like in my own mind, because like I want to be able when the show is over, I'm gonna be like, oh, I did really well. You're playing keep away. In the third period, that's what you're doing. But I don't that's have the lead. That's why it frustrates us. I'm playing in keep your away. Mind, you have the lead. I'm playing keep away, and I'm losing six to two. Okay, so wait, what's your bet? What is your bet? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna go. It was the third quarter max. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm putting eighty on it because that's what Troy put. Wait, don't you only have eighty? No, he's got. I a, have a hundred, but I'm gonna delete some of these. And he's then got a hundred with you, your guys' you blessing. Do, so you could do a hundred. Sorry, you could do an eighty and then a ten and a ten. Yeah. Yeah. It, with your guys' blessing, because yes. the rule All is we can't, can't wait, take. You can't take away from his card, though, so he has to keep those bets. We're allowing it's, it. We're, just it's a one time, it's an unless you don't want me to. It, I could try to. It just has put to be unanimous. Votes. You know what? I would say for this one time, you can do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do ninety five and five. So you're gonna do what Brian's Brian's motto is? Yep. You ain't gonna bet on yourself. I'll you gonna say bet it. On? I'll say it this one <laughs> say time. It. Say it. Everyone, if you I ain't you. gonna bet on yourself, who the fuck are you gonna bet on? Woo! All right. I have gotten everyone so, to say that so far, <laughs> but Troy, who I does not bet. play. All right. So my final card now is Kyle ninety bones on the third quarter max damage. Fuck. Five bones on Brian's first quarter under and kills at five point five, and thir- uh, five bones on the third quarter average damage over. That's my final card now. Hardcore, Holy man. dog Hardcore. shit. Hardcore. All right. Troy, recap yours because yours also changed. Uh, so I took away my bet on Wyatt completely. Uh, that was when I initially did my card. So now I have Brian third quarter average damage over for 35. I have Brian's overall average for 10. And then I have the same bet as Wyatt. Third quarter max damage for Kyle for 90 bones. That All works. right. Well... Uh, I'm going to get into my card, even though it's like climactic. <laughs> uh, so for Brian, I've got 40 bones on his average damage in the first quarter below. So he's not going to hit that whatsoever. I love how one of the most consistent things in this show is my first quarter being bad. Yeah, it's <laughs> dog shit. Anyways, and then I have 10 bones on his him not hitting his max damage this week because I don't think he's going to do it two weeks in a row. And then I have 10 bones on the over for Wyatt's total kills because there's no way he pulls out another fucking 23. <laughs> Dear God, please don't do it two weeks in a row because if you do, you're really dog shit. No, I'm going to put time in the training room this week. Troy's right. Like, hand up. My mistake. That was, bad, that was dog shit. Anyway, so now we're – and then I'm going to bet over on Wyatt's third quarter average damage because – there's no way you can let me down two weeks in a row. <laughs> I'm really hoping, I, dude. You can't I said do that, that for the past two weeks before this, and he did it twice. Well, I'm trying not three weeks in a row now. You can't let us I, down three weeks. In a row. I'd also like to point out because Brian said a staple on the show is him doing bad in the first quarter. <laughs> Another staple on the show is Kyle. At least one time reading his card, he forgets to say the word under, and he says below, and it makes me uh, laugh every fucking time. Well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I love when he says it, dude. <laughs> uh, anyways, so then I've got uh, the segment where if you can't bet on yourself, who are you going to bet on? And I got 10 bones on my it's on my total kills over. <laughs> And then I've got 40 bones on my uh, third quarter average damage over. So Troy went. So I've made a grand total of 130 bones, which is all of mine okay. on the line. That's a big bet. It's a big bet. We have three people betting all of their bones, right? Troy, you're betting all your bones? They're all on there. I'm all the only one that on. didn't bet all of my bones? Yes, but you're in the lead. Yeah, I'm at 280. I bet 90. So I'm at, I put, I still have what, like 190 still left? 190 left. Fucking A, I, still, I got too much. Hold on. You Let me, think, I'm, bu- I'm going to bump. No, up. Brian, you got to think though. If me, and, if me and Wyatt sink ourselves, then you are heavily in the room. Yeah, you're like, yes. Kyle, Kyle just has leave a it, chance. Bro. What I was going to do was I was just going to put an extra 20 bones on each of my bets. I'm not changing my bets. No. I would do it. 
<laughs> you, he yeah, just wants you to yeah, lose. Yeah, Listen, I honestly would do it. Too. I would do it. I would totally do it. I'd do all of I'd See, do, like, I'd being, do 30 more on all my Sitting bets. here in my big bones better pants right now, that's something Shut I would do. Shut the fuck up. You're not a big bones better. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, we can't, can't say that. We can't power. say that right now. He just put his entire role. <laughs> all right, fine. This <laughs> is the one time you bet above 50 bones on a fucking bet. He's going to catch the bug, Kyle. Put my glasses on. You think you're part of the BBB now? I'm part of the big bones better club, bitch. Listen, you got 180 bones from other people on your ass on the third quarter bro dude That's kyle's got some pressure God, dude i'm i'm like Actually, stressed kyle, i don't want you to listen, even think about it what don't i need you to do yeah. i don't want yeah. you to even think what about i need it. you to do in your third quarter and i'll remind you right before you play it too is uh <laughs> i did that on purpose by the way um is i need you to get very high damage just never hit your max Kyle, if if you want, I will come over and massage your feet the first two quarters so that you're fully <laughs> ready to go for the third. I will do anything you need. I'll cook, I'll make you a pizza. I'll I'll learn how to make chicken wings. I'll Chef Wyatt by put, the show. I'll clean class. your car. I'll do so many things if you Thanks, uh, just to make sure you're relaxed for the third. So what was your max line? Nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty. That is high. That is really high. So I've got to hit. Pretty much 2000. exactly what I hit this. I hit nineteen sixty three this week. Yeah, did I good, have the highest max year. this week? Good year. Yeah, twice. Yeah, fuck yeah. So you broke two thousand. I did not break two thousand. Mine was nineteen sixty three. Hit. Listen, twenty one hundred this week, Kyle. Blow it out of the water. I can get it. Watch Kyle. It. Watch Kyle hit another twenty six hundred. Hit, hit that twenty four hundred that we all bet under on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next week, with shut Sk- everybody next, up. <laughs> next week, Kyle's new line is set at like twenty five hundred. We're like, uh, <laughs> guys, yeah. If you're not betting unders on that one, you uh, have it in you, dude. I hope you suck thing the is, like, first two quarters so that you're in, cop. so that you're in low silver, we, and then you listen, just crush it. When I was typing your stats today, right. and I was looking at it, what I noticed is the same thing I notice every week. You have the highest ceiling out of every player in this room. But you also have the lowest fucking floor, which says a lot because you play with me. <laughs> yeah, like Kyle. That's... <laughs> Kyle just goes through. It's like it's like the seasons changing, man. Like it's just like sometimes it's night and day difference. Like, dude, it's it, it's it's the one thing you can say about Brian. He he has consistency. Yes. Yeah. Damage, no kills, no kills. Fuck the first quarter, <laughs> third quarter. Hello. <laughs> You gotta at least say hey, that. Did we go through all of our cards? We yes. went through all of our cards. Uh, one thing I do want to mention one more time is starting pro- possibly next week. Uh, we're gonna try to get some data on it first, so we actually can start doing it. Is we might begin to bet on assists as a category because that is recorded and ranked, and it adds to the stats. And it's also, what Brian's good at. <laughs> it also brings forth another element of the game, which is being a good teammate. Kyle, I expect you to have close to nothing there. What are your thoughts? I think maybe I'll have one. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that'll just about do it for the show. Before we log off, don't forget to head into the Discord. Our Discord channel is open. The link is on TikTok and on Instagram. Join the Discord. I just got a Snapchat from some people who joined our Discord. They teamed up together, and they got a win together, so that was nice to see uh, while we were recording this show. Also... We had some. Uh, we had so many DMs and so many requests from people wanting to box Brian to get into the club that we had to make a bracket because not everybody's going to be able to get in. There's only 30 slots, so we have a bracket of 40 people. We're going to be trying to broadcast that live. I'll let you guys know on Twitter and on Instagram when that date is going to be, but we're going to be having that coming soon where 10 people will get the chance to box Brian and get into the club, and one lucky person will get some free uh, – not free – uh, grab my banner merch. Um, no, it is free. Yeah, it's it's free. Grab my banner. One merch. lucky person will get grab my banner merch. Uh, so that should be coming soon. Don't forget to pay attention to that. Look out on social media for that. Also, don't forget to head on down to repsports.com where you can use code banner on all rep sports products. Get some of that raise energy in your system, man. That shit focuses you up. I'm about to drop off like seven raises at Kyle's house before he starts the third quarter because I'm going to be stressed out all week. And then once again, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, TikTok. So many followers this week because Brian just getting his shit knocked out in the boxing ring. So many followers. So many people said, I want to beat the shit out of brian actually my favorite response was let me fight brian just because i'm built different and i got like 17 of those so that made me laugh a lot let me just throw this out there what you see on tiktok were flukes they were not they do not happen like that 
I don't we the reason we set the tournament is because I do not have the time to destroy all 400 of you fucks that messaged us. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's why. Uh yeah, so that should be Brian's fun. really the Rocky Balboa of Apex. If you guys <laughs> could see these boxing matches, Brian literally landed on the fence to die and then on the other one he had it, he grappled a dude in and still got punched in the face. How do you grapple someone and still get punched? Well, it doesn't stun them. You still got punched. I thought he was one health lower than he was. Well, he wasn't. I thought we were just going to trade. I had one hit on him, but he's playing Octane and regenerates his health. And, yo, that slide that's that he a, did. Listen, that's a great move. That, that using slide. the abilities are great, but definitely need to make sure that we do not allow Caustic because he damages straight health and takes less damage, and Gibraltar because he takes less damage. If you want to hurt yourself more using a low profile, have at it. J-Duck, best pound for pound, pound for pound fighter since John Bones Jones. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. I have the confidence to bet on myself during this. Oh, no. Am I allowed to put bones on the fucking boxing bet? Am I allowed to put bones on a boxing bet? We have a high... You absolutely are. Listen. I vote yes. Well, let's let's do this. Once we get people into our club, once people have entered, and we have people that we can look at regularly for boxing, maybe we add the boxing to the bets. Because I'm telling you right now, I will bet on myself, and I will fucking run the table the entire damn time. I'm I'm betting against you every time. I might pull out. I might pull out some. Unless unless we start doing some boxing training pretty soon. Listen, I don't know. Listen, I never play Mirage. I may start playing Mirage just so I can fucking dummy kids. My money's on Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy, dude, Jimmy, Jimmy, who's who's Jimmy? You're Jimmy about to Creepers? find out. You're I mean, about to figure I, out. Who <laughs> Jimmy I, listen, is. Jimmy is so far off the radar. I don't even know who he is. You're about to figure out who Jimmy Creepers. Jimmy, I'm is. calling you out, man. I'm uh, calling you out. Dude. At some point, That's you will insane. box me, regardless. Well, well, here's what I told everybody in Discord. I said you don't have to worry about Brian. You got to worry about each other. They can train all they want. They can't beat natural Dude, talent. You, you, you're so you're Owen where, too. Where are you going to find some of that? <laughs> 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 oh shit alright well that'll just about wrap it up for the show once again be on the lookout for the boxing thing follow our social media thank you guys for support last episode was by far our biggest episode of all time and we couldn't have done it without you guys so appreciative of everybody sending DMs saying uh, you know and a, lot, a lot of the people who didn't get into the boxing match were like hey that sucks but hopefully uh, I can get it next time and I really enjoy your guys' content so to all those people out there you will get your chance uh, just keep DMing keep Hit my lineup. I'll always respond when I can. Uh, thank you guys so much for for this show so far. It's it's been an incredible run, and we're having such a great time. So thank you guys. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, anything else, boys? No. All right, boys. Kick then we Brian's ass. Kick Brian's ass. Pull Kyle, through, Kyle. Don't pull hit through. through no, Kyle. dude. Listen, if you really want to pull through, do it for me. <laughs> yeah, put some damn bug spray on too. You look like you have the fucking measles. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll do it. We'll catch you guys next week.